Say hi from Cherish Math. This is the question. A quarter circle is inscribed in a square with side length of one unit. Two circles are located into the same square and that makes the three circles tangent to each other as shown in diagram. What is the length of radius of the smallest circle? Let's draw a red line connecting from the center of the quarter circle to the center of the larger circle. And I'm going to make a triangle and this is how it looks like. I'm now going to label the radius of the larger circle with R2 and the radius of this smaller circle with R1. I'm now going to focus on this red triangle to find out what is the value of the R2. The horizontal length of this red triangle is 1 minus R2 and for the vertical length is going to be 1 minus R2 as well. Well, for this diagonal, that is going to be 1 plus R2 and it is a right angle. In the next step, I'm going to use the Pythagoras theorem to solve the problem for what is the value of the R2. And this is the beginning. I'm going to expand this and this is how it goes. The next one, I will be rearranging this R2. I will have to find for what is the value of R2 now by using the quadratic formula. Now, I'm going to simplify it and this is how it looks like. The value of the R2 has to be smaller than 1 since the side length of the square is actually 1. So, according to this value, the two possibilities are 3 plus 2 square root of 2, which is more than 3, and 3 minus 2 square root of 2, which is less than 1. So the value that I'm going to get here is 3 minus 2 times square root of 2. And I have to pick this up for the next calculation. And I have to clean this up. I'm going to produce another triangle in a green color. And now I have to explain for what is the length of each part of this green triangle. For this part, it is going to be R2 minus R1. And for this center of the biggest circle, connecting the center of the smaller circle, that will be the sum of the radius of the two triangle. This is R2 plus R1. And for this part, I'm going to name it as the gap G that I'm going to label with a G. I'm going to use the Pythagoras theorem to work out the relationship of the side length of this green right triangle and expanding it. To simplify it and to make G the subject, this is how it goes. And I will be picking up this two for the next calculation. And I have to clean this up to spare more space. I'm now going to draw the third triangle in blue color and it is in the right angle. To label it, this length is the hypotenuse and it is 1 plus R1. The vertical length here is going to be 1 minus R1. And for this horizontal, it is 1 minus R2 minus G. I'm now going to work out an equation based on this blue triangle. And it is the third time for the Pythagoras theorem to be used up. This is how it goes. And to expand it, now for this part, I will have to use 1 minus R2 minus G, and I'm going to retain this information in the form of 1 minus R2. While this part and this part is the expansion of the previous equation. For the next part, I'm going to substitute the value of the g and the g square from the green equations here. This is the substituted value. I'm going to move 4R1R2 to the left side of this equation and factor it over here.
that produces 4R1 multiplied 1 minus R2 equal for the rest part here it is the same as the previous equation divide the entire equation here with 1 minus R2 and now this is how it turns out for the next I'm going to rearrange in such a way by leaving 1 on the right hand side and this part on the left hand side I am going to factorize it and to make it looks in such a way I'm going to substitute the value of the R2 by using this red color equation and this is how it goes I continue my working here on the right hand side and this equation is basically the same in every aspect with this that I'm highlighting here except for the number 3 I'm going to split it by using 2 plus 1 and by looking what is within this square root I can factorize it easily this is how it looks like and the next step by simplifying it and again I have to expand this part by squaring up after I turn the square root to the right hand side and I'm simplifying it again this is the value that produced over here by 3 minus 2 times the square root of 2 divided by 2 as the final answer for the R1 which is the radius of the smallest circle here and I solved the puzzle thanks for watching and please subscribe